Select kitchen items for living local provided by The Rachel Ray Show. Well, welcome back everyone. Love is in the air for sure with Valentine's right around the corner. And if you're looking for something cute and romantic to do, nothing beats breakfast in bed, Nima. Absolutely. So we're doing something different. We're making heart-shaped biscuits and mimosas today. I'm super excited to see all what you have in store for us. I know my, our cooking styles are very different, but everybody has a different taste and everybody loves a little variety. So uh, I'm excited to do some fun stuff. And I'm excited to see how it's going to turn out. So we have got some biscuit dough that we have mixed up over here. So what you need to make biscuits, biscuits. Okay. Two cups of all-purpose flour. We're going to scoot that over there. Actually, we'll put that out of the way. Thank you, Nima. You're welcome. So we got two cups of all-purpose flour. You need um, about three teaspoons of baking powder, a quarter teaspoon of baking soda, just a little pinch of sugar, and a teaspoon of salt. So that way you've got some good flavor in there. These are just basic biscuits, you know? Well, I like the fact that you, do, you don't put too much sugar in it, so um, yeah. I'll be a fan of that. It's not too sweet. I like my biscuits more on like the savory side. Amazing. And then sweet biscuits. So we're just going to roll it out. You mix it all together, put your dry ingredients in there, and then you add about a stick of butter okay. cut up into small pieces and you crumble it in there. And then add some buttermilk or regular milk, but I really like the flavor of buttermilk. Amazing. I like buttermilk too. And you can use any type of milk as well if you don't do any... Um, yeah, if you're trying to do dairy free, exactly, you can have some other options there. Amazing, and you serve that with mimosas. Mm -hmm. Oh my god! So that's gosh. what we're gonna do. So we have rolled our dough out to about a half inch thickness, and you can cut it into whatever shapes you want. But Valentine's. <gasps> oh my God, Bisky, I love you too. Oh, <laughs> see, this is it. We, you found love in the kitchen. This absolutely, is how it works. absolutely. So you can cut them out into whatever shape you want. Stick them on a cookie sheet. Amazing. Thank you for sticking around to help me in the kitchen, Nina. Absolutely. I always love to hang around you. And what better way to do it than to cook with you in the kitchen, Miss Bisky making biscuits. Right. Everybody has fun in the kitchen. <laughs> the kitchen is what brings people together, I think. That's why when you have holidays and stuff, it always seems like everybody ends up in the kitchen hanging I, out. I totally agree with you. Having a good time. So if you have a little extra dough, uh -huh. you can just kind of re-roll it and pop it back in there and cut it out. So I'm gonna give you this last one and then I'll stick it in the oven. And if you wanna pass me the champagne, yeah. we'll get started on our mimosas over oh. here. So once you have your biscuits cut out, you're gonna put them in an oven that's been preheated to 450 degrees. And you're gonna let them bake in there for about 10 minutes or until the top is golden brown. But for me, this would be my favorite part of breakfast in bed. Cause who doesn't wanna wake up to a great mimosa? I don't know what you're doing for Valentine's, but you should be contacting Ms. Bisky Mimosas, to learn about you? her recipe. Let's see how we do, if we can get it. Ooh. Yeah, that's always the best sound right there. It's such a happy sound. So when you pour champagne, you actually pour champagne twice, and you pour it at kind of an angle because you don't want too much foam. There you go. We'll stand that one up, and we'll do one more because everybody wants their own mimosa, right, Nemo? Absolutely. We don't want to share. Our favorites. So we're going to top this guy off right here and add a little splash of orange juice if you want. Or you can even um, drop in some heart-shaped strawberries. So I'm going to let you do the orange juice because I'm kind of flowery over here. You might not want flour in your mimosas. <laughs> well, you know, Bisky, if you ask me to pour orange juice, I'll just do a Sip of that. You make mimosas like I do. And that way, can you imagine? Perfect. That is so perfect. So good. And if you want to garnish it, because you're so good at making everything pretty. I think I want to put my heart upside down just in case you want to fix it. But guess what Aww. we're going to do? We're going to drop one more. Of course. Got to have that extra <laughs> flavor. Nima, thank you so much for joining me today. Guys, you can find the recipe for Bisky's Biscuits online at arclatexhomepage.com under Loving Living Local. Maybe some mimosa tips there as well and some other great food recipes. Stick around. We're going to be right back with more Loving Living Local after the break. <laughs> 